Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Bowles and this is another Showflow Live broadcast today. We're talking about RTMP and how to stream with it. So RTMP, you might have like seen this because you were told you need to set up the Vimeo stream for some live internal meeting or event. And you're going, what in the heck is RTMP? Well, we're not going to get into too much of the technicals today because honestly, it doesn't matter. It's just all you need to know is that's just the streaming protocol that generally speaking, everybody is using today. So that could be Vimeo, that could be Facebook, it could be Wowza, AWS. Everyone's comfortable with RTMP. And so that's just what we're using. Uh, in terms of when you might use RTMP, well, generally speaking, if you're not just trying to do a live camera from your phone directly to Facebook Live, if you actually want to produce something, stream something that's got brand, expression, all those types of stuff, then you're likely going to have to go outside of the end platform and actually generate a stream somewhere. And so you're going to need an encoder or you're going to need a streaming source. Uh, for us, we're going to use Flow Studio. We're going to show you that today. It could be OBS. It could be a physical broadcast studio. There's a lot of different ways to do it. But generally speaking, if you want to produce a better stream than just a direct webcam or direct camera, then you need to actually go to a streaming source. And then you're going to need to use RTMP to get to Vimeo or to get to YouTube. So let's take a look at just kind of the overall flow, right? If we take this full screen, basically you've got the presenters themselves. They're gonna be coming in, let's say into Showflow Studio today. Uh, you're gonna be talking back and forth. You're gonna be adding graphics, videos. And then generally speaking, we're gonna take what you see in Showflow Studio and we're gonna stream it out to Vimeo. Or we're gonna stream it out to YouTube. And that's what we're gonna show you here today. So let's take a look at this demo. In here, I'm now looking at Showflow Studio and uh, I've got a pretty basic little setup here. I've got um, sort of myself up on the screen. I've got a graphic up on the screen with that signal flow we were just looking at. And I'm on top of kind of this beautiful little orange background. So there's a lot of things you can do in Showflow Studio. Watch other videos today. We're going to focus on streaming out. And so the first thing you need to know about streaming out is you need to get a stream key and a stream URL. You're going to see these everywhere. So for example, right now I'm in YouTube and I'm in the YouTube studio. And if I was to go in here and create a new event and create a new uh, sort of video in YouTube, they're going to pass you into the stream settings right down here, what we call the stream URL or the stream key. There are two different parameters and you're going to need those to set up an RTMP stream. All right. So right here, if we reveal this, the stream key is basically just going to be a unique key. It's nothing special, but it is unique to that stream that you're streaming to. And if you simply just copy that stream key, you're going to need to put that in your clipboard or put it somewhere because you're going to need that later. For us, we're going to go back over to Showflow Studio and we're actually going to create a new endpoint. You can kind of see here on the right side, we're already streaming to Vimeo and to YouTube and I'm going to just create a new one. That's one of the cool things you can do in Showflow Studio. You can actually create uh, as many endpoints as you want. You can stream to YouTube Vimeo 10 times each if you wanted to. So we're just going to call this YouTube 2. Uh, and right now I'm going to take that stream key and I'm going to paste it right there. All right, we're going to pop over into YouTube again, zoom in here in the stream settings, and I'm going to grab this stream URL. It's generally always going to start with RTMP and then whatever. If it's YouTube, you'll probably see YouTube in the link. If it's Vimeo, you'll see Vimeo there. I'm going to bring that over and I'm going to paste that in right here as well. If you wanted to in Showflow Studio, you can add a lot more stuff in terms of like resolution, whether you want it to be 1080p or whatever. We're not going to get lost in that today. At the end of the day, you're going to hit create. And boom, there you go. We have a whole new YouTube endpoint right here. Like I told you already, we're already currently streaming into uh, YouTube and you can kind of see our preview of that right here. Things you should know about our TMP streaming, generally set, uh, speaking, it takes about five to maybe even 20 seconds sometimes for it to get there, um, which is just kind of inherent with our TMP. We're also going to quickly show in Vimeo, just to demo it one more time, you can see here it's delayed by about five, 10, 15 seconds but this is a Vimeo preview of a stream right here in the upper right corner. It says RTMPS settings. If I reveal that, we can see there is the stream URL and there is the stream key. And same thing I just showed you on YouTube, you do it here as well too. You copy those two parameters, you paste that into wherever your streaming source is. Today we're looking at Showflow Studio and then you're there. I mean, on top of that, there's a lot more, right? You could talk about variable bit rate or constant bit rate. You could talk about stream resolution, but you really don't need to get lost in too much of that. All you need are those two parameters and you can get off to the races. Okay, cool. So one more time, just kind of looking at the high level graphic of how this all works. You are going to need a streaming source. It could be Showflow Studio. It could be OBS, whatever that is. You need a place to start and generate a stream from. 
Then you need to identify where you're streaming to. If it's Vimeo, if it's Facebook, you're going to go create that video or that event there. And then you're going to be looking for two major parameters, and that's going to be the stream key and the stream URL. You copy those two parameters, you put them into Showflow Studio or into any other streaming source, and then really you just hit start and, <laughs> and you go live. So that's kind of it. If you're looking to explore more about Showflow Studio or actually just want to learn how to play with RTMP streams in general, honestly, just head over to showflow.tv, start a 14-day trial, uh, and you can just kind of create streams all day long. Stream over to your Facebook, stream it over to YouTube, whatever you want to do. Great ways to kind of get going. All right, with that, I'm going to leave you there. If you're looking to uh, produce a better live stream, there's not a better place to head to than showflow.tv. Have a great rest of your day.